good evening, good morning, good afternoon, whenever you're watching this, hello to you, and um, thanks for being here. Every time I have some sort of trouble, either with my equipment or just not, things just not feeling right, and then, you know, for me, it's like I'm, I'm still here making the videos, so that's all gotta mean something. If that resonates for you um, right now, as in uh, you're doing something but you're not really sure what it means. You have a lot of pieces that feel right, but not how they go together. That's definitely um, something for this week, I feel. Um, I say this in some of my videos, but just as a reminder, I really just do this for myself for the practice of using um, you know, my throat chakra, using my voice to expound on um, my own intuitive sense. This is, you know, for me practicing a new skill. And yeah, I'm going to read some tarot cards. So, my laptop won't work. OBS keeps crashing. And so, um, instead of trying to fix it, we're just doing things a little bit differently today. And you know how I like to keep time and keep the videos nice and, nice and short. So I'm not eating up um, anyone's precious time. So I bought this I don't know, around Halloween time. It's a 15 minute timer. Isn't it glorious? I've like, I've never used it. It's just sort of set decoratively around. We're gonna use it today. This will be our little 15 minute timer for the reading. Okay, let's see, what decks should we use? I'm really vibing on this combo. This is like a killer set. The Moonology and the Northern Animal Tarot. This is the first edition deck, but my second edition is coming next month. It's so crazy to think that February felt so far away at one point. Um, and now that's literally like next week. Let's see what this has to say. The third quarter moon, adjustments are required. I'm telling you, I change up this setup so many times, even in the same day, that I don't know what I'm doing. You're very close to achieving your goal, Gibbous Moon. This showed up again, I think this was here last night or yesterday morning, whenever I did yesterday's reading. Emotions are running high, Super Moon. Interesting. Interesting. So there is a need to be gentle, I feel. Uh, things can seem exaggerated. Um, maybe it's best to keep to yourself and or um, if you're very close to achieving some sort of goal then this is on you the, the balls in your court as in there's something you can change that you so there's something you have control over some sort of adjustment here that can get you to where you need to be but uh, emotions are running high so um, don't dwell don't cling to, um, don't take things personally. I think that um, level of sensitivity is required here. Um, and also be humble about what it is you are trying to do. Um, a message from this week here has been not to do a lot of manifesting this week, as in don't, don't put, sometimes manif when we manifest we have to sort of have this like deep knowing this this is going to happen, this is going to happen, and I'm calling this in, I'm doing this now, this is happening for me. Don't do that this week. Whatever your method has been requires adjustment, um, but there's there may be some things in the way, and the, the timing of this week is just to not push against resistance. Allow that to unfold to play out as it will and then your path will be opened again perhaps perhaps it's a big week astrologically speaking um, because Venus is still retrograde Mercury is retrograde but that's ending you know this weekend and, and next Wednesday and then things should feel pretty clear. There might be some sort of like final, there might be some last ditch attempts here to 
um, get something you've been waiting for. But like I said, some adjustment is required. Emotions are running high. Some desperate measures here, maybe. <laughs> Interesting. Hmm. Ten of Wands. You've been doing all the work and it's time to let somebody else do the work, a.k.a. let the universe work on your behalf. The adjustment that is required maybe is that you need to sort of let it go now. Let it go. Eight of Wands, message is something happening very fast. Two of Cups, partnership. Eight of Cups, Six of Wands, the wise old tree, yet again, now dead center. Dead center, the King of Pentacles again. Eight of Swords, um, the seed right below the wise old tree and the Six of Swords. So a quality of the Venus retrograde, right? We know that this is a period of time when we're asking a lot of pointed questions at what are the things that we value and um, especially in regards to like money and love, money and love, things we value the most, really, right? Like what is our stability? What do we look at that we find beautiful and that, that bring us stability in life? the quality of Venus retrograde is that suddenly things from our past, old ideas or established beliefs around these systems of thought around love and money may appear suddenly. And as a result, we are now on some sort of journey to um, a line of questioning. Um, something which you may have been known for um, or appear to stand for, you know, like a quality, something that, you know, something that you're known for. So however that, how take that however that resonates, like could be in work, you're known as a great communicator or somebody who's always rolling up their sleeves and getting worked, like whatever, this is non-specific, just that it's also how you know yourself. And that is coming into question, right? That is the quality of the Venus retrograde now coming to an end here very soon. So what I see is um, you're now armed with some sort of knowledge that you didn't know before, something that you felt like was holding you back or leaking energy, or um, you're now more empowered to have some sort of new beginning. And really the energy that's here is like, um, leaving an old self behind. This is this is the the moment of some sort of ultimate transformation. Is when we leave something in the past, and it's it's not always external. This is definitely an internal sort of thing. The struggle here, or the burden, has been for some time trying to carry all of the sticks which represent here's what I represent, here's who I am, and like when we try to be everything, it gets to be a lot. And so hopefully the last six weeks, two years, have been um, a time of growth and a time of um, simplifying in order to get to some sort of more of a root essence of something which matters most to you. Um, some sort of new identity here on the horizon. Let's see, what can we, what can we clarify? We've got, um, got some time on our hour, on our sand glass. Um, I would really love to do these videos live one day because for me there's a lot I value a lot the participation and the interaction when I get to talk to somebody about what these things might mean for for you um, 
Um, I, there's always things that I take away from the readings, you know, but I'm not here to tell you about my personal life. So, well, um, let's see, King of Pentacles, is that Taurus? Yeah. You know, there's there's the quality of the North Node moving into Taurus as well, which again is the things that we value. Taurus is also, um, you know, something steady, something, uh, again, stability, steady, stability, st that quality is coming here. It's almost like we're seeing now how we can um, show up for ourselves in a way that um, while we could have um, this whole time have been instead showing up for others in some sort of capacity and now we sort of deserve to turn that on ourselves. That's what's happening here. So let's clarify, um, first of all, the Ten of Wands. exactly what I was saying. We have the star, the ghost, and the hanged beast. It's like something, you know, you're healing something from your past, some a ghost story, something that you've been telling yourself, I gotta carry these sticks, you know, I've gotta, there's so many things for me to do, and it, you've, you're, you've managed somehow to basically, you know, pack me a bunch of stuff with you, that isn't even yours. And so now I feel like you are understanding that. And you're taking, a, you're, I don't want to say taking a back seat, but the approach is definitely, this is the adjustment that is required, the adjustment that has been required and that either you're in the process of figuring out or going to figure out soon is that there is a sort of a hands-off approach. You're like, not my shit. And you're at peace with that. You're not trying to be mean or like um, cold. You just um, have probably been taking on literally too much stuff. Stuff that wasn't even yours. That's getting in the way of the thing that really matters to you. We've all done it. God knows. We've all done that. This is for everybody. Okay, so now show me the wise old tree because he keeps showing up. I love the artwork, but honestly a bit spooky. Okay, this wise old tree. It's the four of cups, three of swords, ten of swords. E. <laughs> Interesting. Well, there's like a lot of messages coming in, honestly, like um, a, a bit of rapid sort of fire. By holding on to some idea of the past, there is, you know, maybe a way of operating in the world or something or taking on values that weren't your own, maybe like a... a a value provided by, you know, society or something like that, that is actually preventing you from um, seeing um, some sort of um, wonderful opportunity that wants to show itself, you know, or th rather that is here for you, but you're sort of appearing as like, yeah, I don't know, I don't think I can have that or just like not really responsive to it for some, for one reason or another. And um, likely the reason is because of um, something like the last time I said yes to that I got hurt because we have the three of swords and the ten of swords so if this is resonating it's almost as if that um, now now from a place of empowerment you're willing to say yes again and explore why does my soul say yes to this 
um, and why does that seem or may seem contradictory to what everyone else seems to be saying or contradictory to what um, the world seems to want for, from me. Are you following? Um, so that's coming up so that that can be sort of sussed out and um, after this you will find some sort of stability and empowerment and moving 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 into a new situation after you've sort of empowered yourself to make this own choice for yourself to heal something that has been uh, painful in the past for not being able to say yes to something that you felt like was your true calling something that was deep down you felt this is for me but why can't I say yes to this and why can't I make this work um, there's a negative feedback loop when we have feedback loops like that when it's all sort of mental and cognitive there's a need to quiet the mind sometimes and just need to get in the body and get into the intuition of things what do you feel like is your that's the message of the wise old tree maybe because the wise old tree says uh, knowledge is good yes but at what point does it make us rigid as in like oh I know how to do this so uh, you just do it the same way over and over and over again without any leaving much room for growth but now in an alternate meaning might be I'm using my brain so much that I've forgotten an entire other worthy sense of how to make decisions through feeling I mean it's not just that the heart here is in the middle the heart has been wounded for making decisions from the heart because then we're exposed and we get rejected and um, that becomes a point of vulnerability oh it looks like we're out of time y'all let me just finish this I guess and, and um, I'll take it more as a sign to wrap up yeah it becomes a sign of vulnerability and so that's what that vulnerability then this is again the Venus the quality of Venus retrograde something shows up to show you your wounds that need to be healed to move on when you can see that for yourself make that adjustment right during a period of probably some intense emotions toward your values toward your stability that is what's leading that's what's empowering you to like this new beginning and so I do want to just pull a few more cards around um, let's say the um, the six of swords where are we this is a card of transit um, moving somewhere uh, moving away from away that things used to be into a new situation You know, the message here is also with the, the seed is that new life begins in total darkness, so we shouldn't be afraid to reach the bottom here because there is only one way back up. Okay, six of swords, please. Just some advice for where we're going and what's on the horizon. Mm, choices we have the seven of cups five of wands oh, okay and winter um where did we leave off there's like this new beginning right and so what you might find is while there's this this feeling of a fresh slate there's also now um the doorway or the pathway to an infinite number of possibilities and when you are considering your options um, there might be a lot of uh, distractions and or opinions it's gonna be a lot of information to sift through pretty much so the message here as the advice is to simply take your time um, the winter card is the card of hibernation the crescent moon here is a symbol of 
um, taking time to build yourself up, take time to build some confidence um, in making choices for yourself, choices that feel good, choices that feel in alignment with, with your stability and your value systems. And of course the winter card is about spending time um, with loved ones. So, yeah. Um, the snow will thaw and once it's not spring yet but the seed has been planted and there's a new beginning on the horizon if you're doing this kind of shadow work if this resonates for you what a dope reading um, like the video if you liked this um, leave me a comment say hello um, I appreciate you and um, see you in the next one